Hey, why don't you guys check out to see what I am doing with this 16 foot long timber. This is the episode 16 and the finale of this series on building the billy goat barn. Yep, we'll see you in a few. Hey, welcome back to Pine Meadows Hobby Farm. Hang on a sec, let me get this beam off my shoulder. There, that's better. Hey, welcome back to Pine Meadows Hobby Farm. I'm your host, Jerry Hansen. I've been working on this billy goat barn build for the last two and a half months. Yeah, it's been 60 days ago that I started it. And we've gotten this far. And uh, I have a couple of little details i got to work out. Oh, one of the things I need to do is I've got to trim this pole here down to the tops of the fences because those beams over there I'm putting one across the top and capping it with one going this way so we'll have a beam this way beam this way and that will give the top a real strong rigid support and then the other 2 by 6 beam will go across right about here and that way as the gro goats grow, they use the fencing to scratch and rub their hairs off, like the winter hair. They'll rub on something to get that off of there, and it's usually the fence. This will give the fence some rigidity while they're scratching, and uh, so it won't push the fence out and away. That's why I tried to put the fencing on the inside of the post, except a couple of places it just wasn't going to work. So that's why I opted to use these beams. Now I've got to paint these. Uh, these are going to be painted red. And then the top cap is going to be a uh, water sealed one. And then I'm going to be painting that green. And then that will complete the fence. Now I want to show you guys something else. When I went to purchase the feeders, uh, the hay feeders for goats and sheep, uh, they everybody was out of stock. They had back ordered. I had ordered two of them from two different locations and uh, Oh, it took a long time two months uh, in the meantime, I built this rack here out of um, Conduit and it served its purpose, but now both the feeders came in uh, So I'm, I'm going to be mounting those on this uh, so yay, we've got them, and I could probably take this one down because I really don't need it now unless I keep it up and use it for a weekend feeder. So I just pack it full of uh, alfalfa, and then they can just eat on that for the whole weekend. Uh, and I can get away and not have to worry about having somebody come by and feed the livestock. We'll see. I gotta attach the top if I do to the rafters. Now, one of my viewers. Uh, inquired why did I make the roof so high uh, there is a very valid reason why I did it's because when we get a snow load I don't want the snow to pack on that roof and just keep packing up if the, if the slope was any slighter I had to slope it the way I did and since we're going on an uphill incline this end has to be much higher so when you get under it's really high but it allows for snow to slide off and then that's also why another reason why i made the gates to open in so i don't have to worry about the gates getting stuck in a snow load 
uh, we'll deal with that when it comes but right now um, I had a, an afterthought and it's not too late to do this is this tall area right here let's see here's how tall I am I've got this whole area of space that can actually put this big piece of leftover roofing material across there, seal that up, put a loft in here, and uh, store some loft, uh, loft some uh, alfalfa up there. So that way these boys have their own storehouse of alfalfa. I think I can probably get about 10 bales in up there, maybe eight. Uh, but that's a good a good place to be able to store and kind of cap in the ends a little bit to protect it from inclement weather. And then the final project to work on is to go down and get some plywood, frame the inside, and put plywood around the walls. Uh, and that way it'll uh, make the walls more sturdy and also give it a little bit more R value and insulation, especially when it gets really cold. And uh, it's just goats don't really need it but we need to save the structure because they can be a little bit destructive on the metal siding so uh, we'll take care of that and fortify it make it goat proof so that's the plan project for uh, on this episode to get it all done and also clean up the area and get the trash out get the fencing material out and take get those Transported to the next phase of fencing. Yeah, <laughs> lots to do on the homestead Okay, I announced a little contest uh, in an earlier episode on two subtle changes that have occurred over the series uh, and the first person who could answer it, uh, they won two coffee mugs. One with Duck and a Cup logo on it, which is my production company. And the other one is Pine Meadows Hobby Farm logo. Well, uh, the winner was this person right here. So uh, I notified them to get a hold of me and how to get a hold of me so that I can get those uh, products shipped to them. Congratulations. Um, the two subtle changes are, um, well, I lost weight. I lost a lot of weight. Uh, 0.83 pounds per day was the average daily weight loss over the last 60 days. Uh, the, from the first video, when I launched this series, is the day I started my nutritional modification and also through the course of these uh, 60 days I grew some facial hair back <laughs> so those were the two well not so subtle changes but you know once you watch episode one and on through down you could see the shrinking farmer the incredible shrinking farmer how much did I lose well, I already told you, 0.83 pounds per day in uh, 60 days. I lost 45 pounds already. I'm almost to my goal. Yeah. Yeah. I fit clothes now that I haven't been able to fit in years. This belt, for instance, I made this in leather crafts when I was in high school, a junior in high school. I have not been able to wear this for years. <laughs> And now I just like it fits it's wonderful to, and it also uh, the rest of my systems in my body are just uh, functioning better I feel better I have more energy and um, stay tuned I'm gonna go ahead and do an episode because I know a lot of you have questions on what method did I use to lose weight? I, it didn't cost me a cent. Actually, it was cheaper uh, because of my uh, nutritional habits before. It was a lot of money, you know, because I was spending a lot on the wrong types of foods. And uh, we'll talk about the nutritional changes that I did and then the activities that I do to help uh, take the weight off. I still have... 35 more pounds to go.
to reach my goal, and that would be a total weight loss of uh, 80 pounds. Yeah, an 80 pound weight loss. Amazing. So keep tuning in and watching the shows and watching the incredible shrinking farmer. <laughs> I was hoping one day I would trade my keg in for a six pack. Yeah, wouldn't that be nice if I could get ripped? I've never been ripped, <laughs> ever. Oh, in the military I was. I did have a six pack in the military. But, trying to get back to my boyish figure. No, I'm gonna go beyond that. This is my boyish figure. <laughs> I'm going back down to a really healthy, 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 um, weight because I'm getting old it's like I'm a fossil okay um, yeah and fossils well things happen so uh, to take the weight off is one positive step towards becoming uh, healthier and facing retirement with not so heavy of a, a need and burden for health care Anyway, that's going to be a whole nother show. I got to get busy on this activities out here on the Billy Goat Barn. And it's going to take me a couple of days to do the whole thing. But, you know, to you guys, to this video, it's just going to be one episode. So stay tuned and watch. So I'm going to do the easy thing first and mount these two feeders. I'm just going to remove these bolts and these brackets. I'm not going to use the brackets. I'm just going to bolt it back to back through the wire over here. Okay, this is a 916 hex bolt and wa um, nut. These are lock washer nuts. Now I'll position them back to back right here, but I have to make sure they're in the right spot for not impeding with the gate opening. Okay, now we just got to finish putting the bolts in. wanted this close enough to the gate that way when I come in and uh, toss these boys in their flakes of uh, alfalfa I can just reach in through the gate and drop it in here without coming in and so that is primarily the reason why I'm doing this in this location
Okay. That's done. And uh, this is the way I had designed and planned it to have these type of feeders here. I'm glad they finally came in. I was annoyed with the other place and I have to tell you I was really annoyed with uh, our Grange co-op is where I ordered the other two. They called me and told me they come in. One apparently had been in storage for years because they came out they brought it and set in the back of my pickup and it was so caked with cobwebs and, and filth, dirt, dust. And then the other one, they pulled it out of the box and they laid it up in my truck expecting me to take it home. Uh, it was crushed. It was so damaged and bent up. I just told them, uh, yeah, no. <laughs> I did not spend good money for buying this type of uh, product. So I went back to another place where I had ordered and they had ordered it. It came in stock. They forgot to tell me and I saw them there and so they happened to have them. So I was able to buy these yesterday, bring them home and here they are. Yeah, I wasn't too pleased with uh, well, the service was fine. It's just the product they were trying to pawn off on me was horrible. Uh, yeah, it was horrible. I got to go put these away. I'll be right back. Okay, it's dinner time. Let's see how this new feeder works. Come on. I can see where they're still trying to get used to uh, the new configuration to get their noses through those little bars to be able to get what they want. Uh, yeah, I think it's going to work out. Plus, it's got the catcher down below to be able to catch all the other stuff that falls down. And then they can nibble on that as the day goes by. So I think I'll go ahead and remove the big feeder that I tried to jerry-rig and we'll, we'll just put that aside, maybe. Yeah, I think we'll just put that aside and save it for, um, save it for later. I may reinstall it, but we'll see. It's just figuring out how things are going to work. A lot of things I do is by observation. I kind of carefully watch and assess and see what's going to work for the goats. Works best for the goats. But I, I, I don't regret buying the feeders. These are goat sheep feeders, goat and sheep feeders. And uh, I have them in the barn. I have one in the barn. I need to order one more. So as soon as my source gets one more in, I'm going to buy it and then complete the ensemble of the feeders for the uh, homestead. And then there is a future plan of building a, oh, what do you call it? A, a shelter for the newborn babies and bottle feed them and get them ready for sale. Because if I'm going to be breeding and selling and milking, I got to do this right. 
Okay, we're gonna go ahead and uh, I got my planks laid out and I'm gonna go ahead and paint them because uh, it's a nice sunny warm day and the paint should dry fast. Oh, look what I got visiting me. Cute. Adorable baby fawns. Still have their spots. Anyway, let's get the paint poured and get this thing spread out. My paint I'm using is Valspar and it is a latex red barn paint. It's the classic red, which is what you see throughout the homestead. Okay. Oh, set that aside. I got a liner in here. Hopefully that works out well for me. Yeah. Okay. My fence, staple, clip, um, a plier is a paint can opener. Okay.
Well, that's going to be a burn pile this winter. Yeah. Get this all cleared out. Make it nice and safe for the goats to be able to romp and frolic. And just have a good time. Still got some more painting to do. And then we'll assemble the rails. The placement of those feeders worked out perfectly. Well, this is going to conclude another day of work. Uh, I'll finish the painting up tomorrow, let it dry, and then we'll go ahead and uh, cut the tops of those posts off and mount these beams and get the hayloft built. Got my work out today. So I'll be back and well, to you, it's going to be a video second. That sun is setting. I've got to run down to the market and get a couple of things. And then I'm going to go eat my supper and uh, take it easy for the rest of the night. We'll see you guys in a video second. Bye-bye. Hey, good morning. I told you it would only be a video second. So I've got the other parts I needed to uh, mount these. I've got my black martini coffee for those of you who don't understand but um and we're going to get started before the heat goes up so let's get this uh, these beams at least mounted on the poles i need to mount them on
Well, Capricorn Corrals is really taking shape really nice. Uh, I just have to go down and buy my 16 foot long uh, uh, treated timber and paint it green and put it on the top. That will uh, strengthen that top board and then that way I can attach the top of the fence to those rails and then they won't wobble and give. And the goats have something to press against and it won't oh warp the fence. Uh, yeah, it's going to look really good. Okay, for the most part, the corrals are done. I uh, just cut the top posts off and put, I still have to purchase the beams that go across the top, the top plates and paint those. And I have to purchase some more material for the inside and buy the plywood. So I'm gonna save that for another video second, if you know what I mean. And this is looking so nice. I'm gonna need a sign. I gotta make a sign. I think I'll hang it from the gate there, calling it Capricorn Acres, or Capricorn Corral. Yeah, and maybe two more signs for my little goats, Stuart and Dexter. Yeah. Nice. It's looking nice. It's now gotten too hot. I'm going to quit for the day, and then uh, go buy my material, paint it, and uh, we'll continue again in a video second we'll see you guys okay let's wrap up this episode I've got my timbers for the inside of the goat barn and I've got my rails for the top we just got to paint them and then uh, the paint I'm using is I'll go again Valspar but I'm using the Valspar Pro uh, storm coat this is uh, tinted to uh, forest green. So let's get this applied. While I'm waiting for the paint to dry on those, I'm just going to go ahead and start lopping the tops of these off.
we're getting closer to completion. Um, there's a little lizard over here. We have a lot of lizards. I haven't had the chickens running around lately. They've been confined to the chicken coop. So the lizard population has expanded because the chickens will go and eat a lizard. But look at this little guy. Oh, that's funny. It looks like he's doing push-ups. And one, and two, and one, and two. <laughs> oh, the simple entertainment that we can get here on the homestead. And it's free. Just as soon as I finish this Billy Goat Barn build, I'm, uh, I just have a fence to put up. I'm going to put a fence up along here uh, and create a chicken yard to confine the chickens to just an area because, like I said in an earlier video, my wife does not want chickens on the deck. Yeah, they just poop. And now I can let the goats come out and play and forage, get some exercise. They run around this pasture kicking up their heels. Yeah, they're really funny when they're playing. I've got the rails painted now. It's time to put them in place. And now I'm able to uh, put in the fencing staples to secure the fence. Ah, yeah. Boy, standing downwind from the bees, I can sure smell the honey. We'll be harvesting that here pretty soon. Okay, we finished this half of the Capricorn Corrals. I just got to complete the other half and then we'll move inside and finish off the inside.
Okay, the outside is completed. I've both sides are done. And it looks just how I planned it to look with the colors, the pattern, everything. I just need to put some fencing staples on these Teja fences. And then we'll start on the inside. Okay, it just got way too hot yesterday on uh, you know, when I was painting. Of course, heat is good to dry the paint quickly, so that worked out well. So I waited till uh, the next day, and this is morning, and it's a lot cooler. Uh, today is the finale. Hopefully this is the last day I'm working on this project. We're just going to work on the stalls inside, and then try to get something together for a little bit of a hayloft today also. So let's get busy. up here right now out of my way
the inside stall is done. Now the goats have a nice safe place to bed down for the winter and I can protect the walls. It's, it, it strengthens and fortifies the walls of the shed. So it should be give us several years of usability. I mean, this was a repurposed shed anyway. I got this from an estate cleanup and it was free. It just cost me some paint and sweat to get it uh, together and get it over here. Yeah, as you've been following the series, it all started with a shed and the series is ending with a shed. I'm gonna go ahead and do the hayloft another day. It's not eminent that I really need to have, have it. I don't have the resources, you know, to be able to stock it with alfalfa anyway. So I'm just trying to get the, the uh, loft and the barn stocked. Uh, yeah, I just got to come up with the resources to be able to get ready for winter and have enough alfalfa on, on hold or on. Uh, but yeah, the hayloft will come. I'm going to go ahead and take this feeder that I built down. I you know, my in daydreaming episodes, I just realized I could re I could use that in the garden. Uh, just disassemble it a little bit, spread it out, and use it as a trellis uh, for plants in the garden. Yeah, reuse, repurpose, upcycle. That's how we do it here at Pine Meadows Hobby Farm, a frugal homestead. I'm Jerry Hansen, your host. I want to thank you guys for showing up. Please give me a thumbs up to like the show. Also, uh, click that um, subscribe button and then that b a bell icon. That alerts you to new videos as I upload them. Another thing we like you guys to do is um, click that share button. Sharing my videos on your social media platforms really helps out the channel a lot. Always remember, Please be safe in these trying times, and also remember, please be kind. I'm going to go let the goats out and let them romp and frolic in their new environment. Come on, boys. Let's go play. <laughs> Too hot.